We're checking out Sasha says simple the goat multiple top player of the year She didn't play pro play for a while now because he was cooking up his own project and Academy basically all right. I'm simple and this is my CS2 course. Hey, I'm simple and this is my CS2 course Hey, I'm simple and this is my CS2 course. Let's see. Hello once again. I'm Let's simple see. and this is my CS2 course. Welcome back I'm simple and this is my CS2 course Hey there, I'm Mark and I'm trying to learn by the way just so you know I did Ask you're simple. Can I take the free lessons on stream? I'll link to it etc. Hey, of course you can boys and we go inside. By the way, I will keep it, of course, brutally dis on uh, brutally honest. Okay, let's fucking get it. Sasha saying, "Welcome, Mark. I have something for you." Sasha, let's hear it, dude. So glad that you joined my project, and don't miss our weekly lessons and other activities that we prepare for you. Your journey to become better CS player starts here, and I will support you all the way. So let's keep in touch. Let's. Do it, baby. Let's, is he gonna call me? Scheiße. No, 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 no. Okay, not yet, not yet. Site design so far. What do we think, chat? I think site is pretty insane, not gonna lie. Because I have my own uh, um, um, uh, project, right? Uh, uh, together with Zippel. Frequently gold question. <laughs> I like this. I like I like the designer. I like the designer, bro. This, this, is, this is smart. Analyzing Falcon Map 2. <clears throat> if you're clueless, Simple took a break, and then for everyone's surprise, he played a game on Falcons. They wanted him as a sub, and they played one best of three, because they immediately, it was single elim. Oh, jeepers. <clears throat> we start, I would say, lesson nine. It's only one lesson, chat, I just realized. The other two free lessons are not there. Okay, so we have to pay full attention. Notebooks are out. Bang. Simple. I want to be at least... SMFC after this. Here we go. How to play Inferno on CS2 CT side is going to be the next lesson. First lesson, Echo Force semi buy rounds. That's actually good because I swear on God, I lack some of the basics. And this is probably what most people lack. Here we go. We go straight in, boys. We go straight in. I'm excited. I'm excited. Is Simple going to talk? Does he, is there a guy hired who does it? Let's see. I hope it's simple. Hey, I'm Big. Simple, and this is my CS2 course. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this free lesson. Sasha, I'm making pl space for you. Wait. Zack. <clears throat> Let's see. Dude, I feel like one of these YouTubers, like, checking Andrew Tate's uh, uh, war room. But this is like, uh, like, uh, I, I actually want to give it a shot. Let's see. Because courses, there are some, uh, uh, like, stuff where you could think, oh, okay, what is this? But this is actually, it, it is from the GOAT. Like, I don't think he's going to pull, like, a, a weird one, you know? Let's go. We are putting out ahead of annual play, like, simple program launch. Over the next few weeks, I'll be sharing with you three new lessons and some valuable tips to improve your CS skill. Stay tuned. Today, we will talk about Eco Force and semi buy rounds. Boys, pay attention. So, Eco is easy. On Eco ST, all what you need to do first, uh, let your opponents to waste as many nades as possible. Second, try to get some kills. If you get two kills on full eco when you have blocks, you did a perfect round. Not perfect, but you, you almost did everything perfect. Plant? But if you plant the bomb on eco, it's like, it's a really small chance. But even in professional uh, games, teams losing full eco, not only planting the ball. That's why on Nico usually everyone with lock, one to yo, yo, yo. I like to Question, Professor. Why are we rocking a default knife? Nah, 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 nah. If you want to play like a champ, you got to be dressed like a champ. Where's the knife? He's playing on an alt account. Uh, games. Teams losing full eco, not only planting the ball. That's why on Nico usually everyone with lock, one to diggles. I like to buy diggle. I'm buying Deagle even if I have less money than my teammates. Even if I'm gonna start playing first by round with Galil, I know that if I'm gonna do two kills, the next by round, if we win, they're fucked up with money. Their money will become really, really bad. That's why. Buy Deagle on equal. All what you need to do is try to get a few kills. At the beginning, don't die so they can waste utility. Utility means money. 
And uh, if you plant the bomb, then you're a perfect teammate. On city side, all what you need to do, basically the same. Try to let this waste all utilities and uh, try to get as many kills as possible. That's why uh, I think Heroic uh, showed this. They start to play on full Eco S5 on T and CT. And they were like doing some kills, like two, three kills. Fast by rounds. Fourth by round, basically when you have 2,000, 2,500 or 1,900, you're just buying full. When you understand that there is no point to save because you're gonna do... Dude, this, this is actually stuff that I don't care about Googling or something or watching a video about, but now I finally hear it for the first time between 1.9K to 2.5. That's what you want to force buy. Wichtig. One more eco or low buy on the next... Uh, so far, I only used gut feeling. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. GG. <laughs> well, and uh, you're trying to win zones. A city, you're trying to win zones. For example, all of you have deagles or one scout, three deagles CZ or 357. You're trying to fight for zone. One of the common things is come close B. You hear some guys, remember, I was showing you some of them throw Molotov and after flash. Players just staying here, BCZ. This guy just aiming one flash. He's throwing here. It's pop over here. It's blind these guys, okay? It's blind these guys. This one, he's too deep. It will blind him maybe for one and a half, two seconds. But this guy would never get blind. That's why you need to use this flash as well. You need to flash over, so the flash gonna pop over here. And this guy will, will get blind. If you're gonna play against me, I will expect this. So after first flash, of course, I will ask my teammate what he's doing. Like, he's shaking. He can say three, four. He can just leave me, it's fine. I will try to get like two, three kills, but I know that my teammates will rotate to A side and no one will be on A side. But the problem is that I can give a weapon from this position. That's why I don't recommend against full eco or anti-force to stay here. You can still stay here. You get blind, you're waiting. This guy is coming to help you. He can use flash like this and you double pick. So yeah, the main thing that cities should try to do on force is to get uh, a free zone. Because if you push here and you know that no one here, you need to insta-rotate everyone to A. You need to go like this, 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 this to A. But if you push here and one of the guys says, oh, it's 3B. Structure? I was also kind of confused. I think it's Anubis specific though, no? Because here, look, it's uh, next one is how to play Inferno and CS on City side. Like, I think this one is Anubis focused. Guys, let's go. All of them instantly coming and splitting up A. Recommendation? Can I say recommendations? W would, do you think he would like... I mean, at the end, of course, we will have a big... Um, um, uh, our opinions and everything. I think what would be really cool, chapters. Like on YouTube, bro. Like right here, suck. Because now we have the Anubis part, bang. It's more digestible. Um, and I can like skip immediately to what I need, you know? There is smoking temple here. Of course, they have this control already because they pushed me. They smoke this uh, temple here and they just splitting up all from camera and from aiming. Force ST is a bit harder because you need to find that risk because you, you play an ST. Usually I recommend to use the smoke. The smoke for cave. Okay. Because all cities knows, not only when you don't have op, when you don't have any weapons, they try to pick cave, but it's always smoke. So they have no information. With this smoke, you can just leave this water because they have no info. You can outplay them, you can create some different strats. But the most important, uh, just to get entries, plant the bomb and win the retake. Or there is a lot of interesting strats if you have more money. For example, you lost pistol round, but you planted the bomb. So you have like, some players have 2,800, some 3,000, some 2.5. They're just buying tech nines, armors and full utility. They're coming B and they're doing full B execute. But with this smoke cave, you shouldn't allow other teams and players get free information. You should always put pressure on bomb site and you should always fi fight for zones. You're always fighting for zone. zones. You're fighting here. Okay, you're coming back. No one here, you're coming back. You say, let's go double pick. You're doing flash. You're together with teammates picking here. No one here. You're like collecting or sticking the puzzle and you understand the whole picture 
on your radar. You understand that on half of the map there is no one. You need to instantly rotate. And sometimes when you push in one zone, this guy usually alone. For example, you're playing for B. You, you decide to play aggressive towards B side, or towards B lobby or cave. This guy can either retake A, he can play like here for info. Chat, do you know what I actually want to see? I want to see the vertical one, bro. Once there is one. Because it's uh, An Anubis, I'm, uh, yeah, like, th this map I don't want to, like, I hate this map, bro. Vertical, what he has to say on it, oi. <laughs> but I think it's useless because if he gives them A side, when, when we have force and they have buy round, we, like, it's impossible to retake. It's very hard. Enemies need to do a lot of mistakes to retake. That's why I like when the guy is playing here for info with smoke in hands. As soon as your teammates push and be getting info, they say, careful A, careful A. One of the players can show up here or you can just do the smoke. You're doing the smoke and you're, you're mm. winning time for your teammates to rotate. As soon as they rotate, you can push together if you feel... I need cam a little bit higher. Suck. Someone can be here, but you always should think on step forward. And you need to understand that if T side hear two flashes for push and B, he will understand this and he can say, they push B, let's wait a bit, let's fake that we are taking middle and let's slowly come back to B. Because usually when three players push in here B, no one B, one always stays or pushing from behind. Because, and, and, and if he dies, Oh. Paw. But I feel like in <laughs> is that gonna be the same in my elo? Or like in if somebody is silver, you know what I mean? Because I feel like if, if somebody if I'm if I'm if I'm a silver, I play against silvers, like they're not gonna they're gonna like they're just gonna play random as fuck. No? <laughs> All others. They're rotating to A. And just imagine if the city die on banana right now. Bam. They need to come back. Yeah. But there is guys in caves already. They're just going as fast as possible. They're doing mold of temple. They're smoking CT. And they're just coming from B main crossing. Normally, there is mold of and planting the ball. What round type to when choose? When playing a full eco round, the objective Vistage. and you play different depending on the side you're playing for. For attack, the main task. <laughs> okay, yo, 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 yo. Is he reading? <laughs> Simple. <laughs> When playing a full eco round, the objective and gameplay differ depending on the side you're playing for. For attack, the main task in eco rounds will be to straighten the economy by planting a bomb or deal economic damage to the opposing team by killing as many defense players as possible. If you realize that you won't be able to plant a bomb or knock multiplayer devices from the enemy team, the strategic decision during the eco round is to at least not die from farm guns, which provide a higher kill bonus than other SMGs the rifles. While the attack side during their eco round has the opportunity to plant a bomb and secure additional founds, the defense player should aim to kill as many attack players as possible, often focusing all five players on one map area. In professional esports, full ecos are increasingly played after a losing pistol round to avoid letting your opponents get too far ahead. Since the transition to MR12, there are a few- Okay, I mean, th this, this part, I, guys, I can keep it real, right? But it's it, I like when he when he's when he when he talks like f f off the off the head because he's the fucking goat he he knows the game like no other and th this feels like like uh, I don't I don't know maybe, maybe he wrote it and now he's reading it probably but um uh, I feel like it's also harder to listen to you know what I mean before I was fully involved now it's like he's reading me a book in high school I don't know <clears throat> pure rounds to play I like when it's, when it's off the dome off the goat's dome you know Force by after a successful pistol round guarantees eco in the third round, which quickly makes the score 0 3 and strengthens the enemy's economy for the entire first half of the game. Semi buys usually take place in game and involve buying up to a certain amount, which directly depends on the loss bonus. For example, if you see 1900 loss bonus, your task will be to purchase for 2400 at most. Oh. That's the shit that I need. If 1.9k loss bonus by to 2.5k at least. No, like 2.5k. Yeah, suck. No? Did I get that right? Because this shit, I'm, I always ask my team. Yo, should be equal? And I'm clueless. 2.4? Mm -mm. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, whoops. Thank you. 
also consider the side you're playing for. Bro, it's like in high school. Like, I take notes, homies take notes, and then here, like, you, you're, you're all of my classmates right now, and, and I fucked up, and it's like, yo, what, what did you say again? <laughs> Lol. Terrorists can afford more advantages purchased due to lower overall weapons and equipment prices. During the semi-buy rounds, your task will be to try and win to cause as much damage as possible to the opponent's economy. When playing a semi-buy, you should have a round strategy for the whole team because you won't have enough resources to do a full default. Often, professional teams in semi-buys use strategies to quickly take the relevant areas or add a touch of surprise to their gameplay to increase the chance of turning the tide of the match. Force buys are usually used to deny opponents an economic advantage. You should should carefully analyze your competition to be sure that winning the force by round will guarantee a reset of their economy. Another important aspect of such a <laughs> yes, yo, what is this camera angle, bro? <laughs> that winning the force by round will guarantee a reset. We got, we got the bird's eye, we got the bird's eye, but the bird already flew by. Lol. Reset of their economy. Another important aspect of such a round should be a precise plan for the entire team. After all, if you lose, you will most likely have to play an eco round next. So carefully weigh all the risks before playing force. Some professional teams force buy after losing pistol round. This may depend on having a clear force buy strategy or the match map. For example, it doesn't make sense for the city side to do an eco after losing a pistol round on Inferno. Since doesn't make sense for the city side to do a pistol round after losing an eco. What? I always eco after. Wait. For example, it doesn't make sense for the city side to do an eco after losing a pistol round on Inferno. It doesn't make sense to eco after losing it. I need to force buy after losing pistol? Okay. Why, why Inferno? Why Inferno? Force buy after pistol. Inferno. City side. Because Inferno, it's closer angles. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, only on Inferno? Uh, I wonder if, the, like, is that the, the map where you have to do it? Okay. Inferno, since in this scenario, the defense players will not have enough utility to take Banana in the third out. Mm. Everyone who plays Face It or Matchmaking and you play this map, I just want you to know how to play a city. First of all, one A player, just remember, that's a default, one A player. Okay. He just goes and he controls this A lobby. He throws Molotov, if they smoke the Molotov, he instead can go back because maybe they're Russian and he's doing Chat, really wrong, because as well I would, I would assume he appreciates feedback. Now, suck, my ears wide open again, because if it's if it's read off, it feels, it's, it's hard to listen to, I don't know what it is, it's like in school. This now, boom, suck. Immediate pace change, bro. I love this. This I love. Doing smoke. If they don't uh, extinguish your Molotov, you're doing the same smoke and you have a lobby. That's it. You won a lobby. You have all information that it cannot be fast aid. Other two players start in mid. The first one can always try to outsmart opponent. You can start, you can have this beginning of round. You can do smoke first, for example. But remember, T can always destroy the smoke. They destroy smoke, they go in. That's why I don't like to use smoke. And smoke is... Uh... Yeah, but he used the flashbang. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. For example. <laughs> but remember, T can always destroy the smoke. I get the, the gist smoke. though, I get it. They destroy smoke, they go in. That's why I don't like to use smoke. And smoke is uh, a kind of grenade that you, you can use and you have 15 seconds to watch in front of the smoke. Of course, if they don't need it. Uh, I'm playing second guy mid, usually. But I can play first guy mid as well. That's why second guy, he usually drops smoke. Trying to play like the fucking goat. Drops Molotov in some of the corners. I don't know Ooh. why I cannot take it right now, but it's fine. He drops smoke, drop Molotov, and now he is the guy who is rotating and helping. He can go instantly B because uh, this map is like Inferno. It's very hard to retake. Infer Wait, did, did you not pick up the util again? <laughs> no. He will drop smoke. <laughs> drop smoke. <laughs> Where is it going? He's getting CS2. <laughs> it's getting like sucked in. In some of the corners. I don't know why I cannot take it right now, <laughs> but it's fine. He dropped smoke, dropped Molotov, and now he is the guy who is rotating and helping. He can go instantly B because uh, this map is like Inferno. 
It's very hard to retake. Inferno on B is like Anubis on A, and Inferno on A is like Anubis on B. It's very hard to retake. That's Dude, why you always need. He's fucking right though. I swear on God, this right here. Do you remember every time when we watch pro games on Anubis, I by accident say O oh, and uh, uh, B side, and and it's A side. Because A is B and B is A on this map. I swear on God, if you gave me a blank map and you had to, and you told me, yo, we need to know what is A, what is B on this map. We're about to release it. Like, yeah, bro, A is B and B is A. Who came up with A and B and B and A on, 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 on this map? It's, it, the CS mind, it's, it, 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 it's wrong. On A is like Anubis on B. It's very hard to retake. That's why you always need to be close to your teammates to help them to stop the rush or stop some contact. The guy on middle, he's beginning, the first guy on middle, he's doing the small talk. He waits. Sometimes T's can do smoke here and do some pressure, you know. He waits, he waits, he waits. After after the small talk or at the end of the small talk, he's just doing the smoke. T's start to spam through the smoke. You hear the spam, Chad, you door spam. Some one thing I realized about Simple. Listen, listen closely, listen closely, Chad. He just doing the smoke. You hear his mouse clicking, bro? He always has, is, is it to stress relief? Because also when you watch his streams on Twitch, um, he always, like, when, when playing with an AK, for example, he always right clicks, bro. Always, always. <clears throat> He always right clicks. Like it doesn't shoot, it's, just, it's stress relief or something, right? He does it for focus. Really interesting. Jeez. Not right click, it's his mouse button. Re really? I spoke to him about it and he doesn't realize he does it. No way. We got insights from Smoodog. Damn. So the side buttons. Lol. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, 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 okay. Start to spam in through the smoke. You hear the spam, you door spam. Sometimes T's do this nade. You can just, without any step. It's like this one is the most annoying thing, to be honest. Okay. But when it's smoked, you see their tracers because they're shooting with AKs. If you have M4A1 silencer, you just spam. Just always look at the top, you see? You can see the textures over here. You know that there is no wall. You know that there is no wall. You need to learn a map, geometric of map and textures. He's right. Every texture that you have on this map. And you start to spam. Maybe you get lucky kills. Okay, smoke expiring. You're coming back, remember? You're taking second smoke, second Molotov. You can do jump like this. I like those jumps. I think I'm the one who created to check this, to check players with those jumps. Like you can jump like this oh, shit. and the enemy team would like, it's very hard to kill. It's very hard to kill. If you do it perfect, you can check only right corner or you oh, can God, check double hot. corner. With double, expect that someone can hit you. Is that easy to do, bro? Guys, I have to quickly, just quickly, bro. One to one. Ah, ah. I see the bomb guy. Zack, the simple jump pick. You with AK or even Bizarre. And after you don't see anyone, you don't need to waste nades. Remember, nades is one of the most important. I'm playing with friends right now for fun before Christmas, and they're, they're, just, they're just doing like this. Oh, damn. It's like this flash. Before Christmas, that's almost half a year ago. He cooked on this for over half a year. There's so much to come, I guess. Like this HE, but you need to learn timings. No one can be here still. Here, no one. Mm. That's why you're taking second nades. You don't see anyone. If you spot someone, use second spot. Come back to this position. And be ready to kill through the smoke. Some of them likes to walk in smoke. Remember, some likes to stay here. So when it's smoke, electronic likes to do this. He just come in here and stay in this spot. That's why you can go and just fall back. Just for fun. Oh. Maybe you get lucky and someone is here. After you can come back. Okay, I don't know. I don't know if my I don't know if my <laughs> my enemies are gonna play like electronic, but okay, okay. Leaked threats, yeah. <laughs> Rip electronic. Depends on information. Either they're towards A or either they're towards B. You can always do a more deep smoke. 
This smoke allows you to feel more free. And remember about this boost. They can always boost. You should expect this. You can wall bank sometimes, but expect this boost. And with this smoke, you can always help the guys from cave. For example, they want to double pick. Two players want to pick. And you're like, yes, I'm with you. I can double pick with you. So you're doing smoke. You wait a bit for spawn. You ask them, guys, you ready? Ready. By the and way, I just realized, Chad, on this pit, we've been on like Anubis for at least like three minutes. He's into the map loaded for three minutes, bro. I swear this is all like first take of the dome, bro. Because this this is not script. This is like the goat talking. This, this is what I what I what I like, bro. You're picking with them. You need to kill. There is hope. You need to expect that he will wait for you. Or there is Eki. Am I glazing? To help <laughs> them clear. Sometimes you can jump. This is one of the most fastest rotation to cave, to be. But you need to have middle to have. If before everyone in every game sprays this angle, bro, because they took simple this cost. GG. Rotation. <laughs> and remember, when you kill someone or you show yourself, this guy behind smoke. Just imagine it's me. If I know that someone is pushing, I know the trajectory of uh, of this map, and I'm just spamming like this, and you're dying. You have like two seconds to help kill this guy and avoid bullets. Because that's middle. And two players playing on B. Two middle, second guy, he can be free, he can help mid, he can help A, he can help B. And two other players, they need to communicate and they need to understand what they are focusing. A lot of T's doing this smoke in cave. Mm. And you understand that you cannot go through. If you go through like this, the guy, they're just waiting for you. This is a, actually a new smoke we will show you uh, in our course. And what did it say? What did it say? This is a, actually news. More details in the following grenade course. Smoke. We will show you uh, in our course. And uh, all what you do, how to stop them to take this control. And doing the smoke, you're doing mold. You stop them for seven, eight seconds. But he can be here. He can be close. The other player can stay here and stay on pop flash. And he can do pop flash. And after this mold, he instantly goes in and taking key. All what he need to do is stay here. This is zone that we are fighting for. We are fighting for cave, we are fighting for middle, we are fighting for A main. Hardest things to do is fight for B main and C T. If there is one T or two T, and there is three B and one doing flash like this. Bro, he didn't miss the flash. Why are you saying he missed the flash, bro? For seven, eight seconds. But he can be here, he can be close. The other player can stay here and stay on pop flash. And he can do pop flash. And after this move, he <laughs> instantly... Nah, I see why they cut there. I think. Go. I mean, this is just what to actually like. Goes in and take in cave. It was about All what he need said. to do, stay here. This is zone that we are fighting for. We are fighting for cave. <laughs> after the screen go full white, and then they were like, no, nah, no, nah, we gotta cut it. Oh, man. We are fighting for middle. We are fighting for A main. Hardest things to do is fight for B main and C tier. If there is one T or two T, and there is three B, and one doing flash like this, and second flash like this, yeah. two other players can easily kill them. Or they can cross and just do nades. They can do smoke, they can do smoke and Molotov, and they have this control. When you have this control, you cannot ST just go, okay, they have B, let's go away, let's go away. No, sometimes you need to retake this, because you know that the Opponents live in one guy. He has all the information. He can say like this. Mm. He can play say. He's like, oh, they went back to top middle, guys. Careful. He can ask for flash that makes sense. and check again. Oh, it's 3B. He's doing smoke. He expects that the guy can be cave. He's doing Molotov. He's waiting for rotation. He's going to this corner and he can hear what's going on here. Maybe they're coming back towards mid. He's staying in this corner and listen all the information. Sometimes he can go here and he's listening who is going where, you know. So yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and have a good time. I have a question. When are we gonna discuss Vertigo? <clears throat> Mr. Mr. Zasha? What do we say? Interesting, I like when he speaks of the dome. A cause, one, uh, one more thing is always, I feel like a hard pitch because there's nowadays with youtube and stuff you have lots of resources right this is simple so if you want to have a, a, co a course from 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 simple this is where 
the only place where you're gonna get it. Yeah. Do we know how much the course is gonna cost, chat? Your ticket, play like simple, 150. 150, I don't know what to compare it to. I have no idea how much, like, the biggest course seller is what, uh, Masterclass or whatever it's called. I always see it being promoted in, in videos. I don't know how much courses are usually. It doesn't sound crazy, I would say. I mean, it's, it's, it's what, 55, 55 lessons? Yeah, I mean, it is a lot, it is a lot, that's for sure. But from simple, 55 lessons, I can, I can see like them trying to like, like justify the price. Hey, it was an interesting check, I would say. Of course, nothing but best of luck to him with the launch. Interesting. And yeah, that's it.